And it turns out that there is a very interesting happiness formula. You know, we've all heard of IQ. Mm -hmm. And we've most recently, people have talked about emotional quotient. Yes. You know what's even more important? HQ, happiness quotient. And the formula is based on study of monozygotic twins compared to dizygotic twins. And what it says is that 50% of our happiness is inherited. It's called 50%. the set point, 50%. So you know families where there are three kids and two kids are happy and one kid is not happy. Same parents, same house, same school, same food. He inherited or she inherited slightly different genes. Only that's 50%. 10%, only 10% is living conditions. Whether you live in a mansion in Beverly Hills or the slums of Calcutta or the shanty towns of Jobal, 10%, mm -hmm. if you have a roof and running water, you're happy. And some of the poorest people are the happiest. They celebrate, you know, uh, the city of joy, that amazing movie. Yeah. Right? They're in the slums. They're laughing, they're smiling, they're happy. 40% is voluntary action what we can do to mentor, nurture, and make others happy. But even that 50%, that's a set point, is fluid and dynamic. And we can increase that by behavioral cognitive therapy, antidepressants, meditation, and very importantly, the regular practice of gratitude. So we can all choose to be happy. It's a choice. 